So hi everyone, welcome to Academically uh, in my another video. So today we are going to discuss regarding the opportunities in Australia as a pharmacist, especially if you are uh, past this CAPS exam and then you have to work for one year the internship. So we will uh, let in have the, the Tina that uh, she will give us uh, insight of uh, what actually you need to do and what the difference from Indian pharmacy practice in in Australia. And then we also see then how much you can earn and if it is enough for you to live in Australia and what is there some advice from her, you know, in, in this side if you are marketing to Australia. So we'll see. So Tina, one of our um, uh, faculty at the academically um, and she's had a very uh, long working experience in India and then she passed this CAPS exam and she is uh, uh, going to finish basically internship uh, in, in next month around. So she has basically the experience in India, working in India and teaching experience in India. And she also have a past exam. She's working last one year in in Australia. You know, she also worked earlier like assistant pharmacist. So she can give you a lot of, I think, the comparison if we are comparing with Indian pharmacy practice in Australia. So welcome, Tina. Thank you, sir. Thank you uh, for organizing this session. So it's my pleasure to join here. Yes. So uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Tina. I'm currently doing my uh, pharmacy internship at Chemist Warehouse in Melbourne. Um, I came here in the year 2018, so I did my uh, bachelor's and master's from India, and I was working as an assistant professor in uh, Kripanati College at Bangalore for six years, and uh, then after we got the PR in the year 2017, and we moved in the year 2018, so then after I was actually working uh, in a couple of community pharmacies and uh, hospitals, so meanwhile, I cleared the exam. Then after five months of maternity break, um, I started my internship. So it's almost like about to finish. I cleared my licensing exams. Uh, so it's a couple of weeks left over to finish the final registration process. So comparing to India, uh, you know, um, when you uh, uh, finish, you know, the uh, initial preparation for the CAPS, as you know that, you need to have the eligibility assessment. And when you sit for the CAPS, CAPS is not a tough exam. Okay. I think, it's... Uh, Tina, we will discuss that in a separately. But here, if yeah. you can just give us like internship, you know, in internship, once they got this internship, what actually they have to do? What, what, what is their duty day to do, day to day? Yeah. And if we can come yeah. so, to Indian pharmacist in India. Yes. So when you start the internship, uh, like, you know, the things are totally different here. We got to know about, uh, you know, the policies and procedures at the workplace. So internship is like um, now the our hours, are, they have reduced because of the COVID things. It's now just 1,575 hours. So you will have, uh, have to finish this whole hours in your one year. So you can work up to like 38 hours a week. You can do up to 45 hours and like a maximum of 180 hours in a month. Okay. So you will be especially be practicing. Uh, you know, how to interact, especially first with the customers, you should have a good knowledge about the OTC medications and also the other S3, S4, the different schedules are here. So you'll be learning each and everything. So it's like a, a direct face-to-face -face interaction with the customers. You'll be asking them questions. You'll be learning more about the drugs and you will give you suggestions and counseling depending on, you know, which medications you offer. So it's like a different experience than we what we practiced in India. And uh, also, uh, you will also study about more about the dispensing protocols and procedures, which is very different from India, because in India, we can get any medication over the counter. Here, we can't. We need to get a prescription for each and everything. And there is like a specific cycle they have to follow for each dispense of medications as well. So you will learn a lot. But at the same time, you know, uh, when you come here, you might have doubts. Like, you know, uh, the things are a little different. You might get scared in the beginning, but it's all about, you know, the first few weeks, it might be strange for you, but slowly you will be picking up the things quickly. And also uh, when you start this, maybe in the first few weeks, they will give you the, like the, the proper trainings and all, like how to do each and every step. And you can easily practice this on everyday training hours. You can always you have been allotted with a preceptor, especially for you when you find the internship. So you can have, they will have a checklist what we have to follow each month. And we can prepare, if you have any doubts, we can check with them. So you will get well-defined training, you know, uh, from day one till the end. And also coming to the uh, the pay scales and all. So it's I'm more not, of like- 
स्वेटी ना तो दिस परसेप्ट इज लाइक काइंड ऑफ लाइक मैंटोर तो ही विल गाइड यू ही विल असिस्ट यू यू नो इन डे टू डे in this training so and apart from this you also need to register yourself in some course also uh, during your internship yeah. so what's the i'll tell you how is the step by step procedure now yes. so the first thing when you uh, clear the caps exam of course you have to look for an internship you have to apply for the provisional registration with apra and yeah. once after you receive uh, you know your provisional registration you can apply for internship so the internships are available in all pharmacies so they will adver- advertise all the positions in different websites like seek indeed and all so you can apply otherwise you can just have a walk in with different pharmacies you can drop your resume and you can show your interest that you're a quick learner you're happy to work here you're happy to learn so if you have a positive confidence it's definitely you will be able to get an internship quickly and then after you know you have to join for an itp that is a intern training program yes. which you can either go with the psa which is from the pharmaceutical society of australia or you can either join the guild Guild-off so it. you will have yes and you will have um, in a couple of trainings a year so it might be depends on the immunization or they might organize some workshops which you have to attend mandatorily and then a couple of assignments which you have to do every month so you have to finish all those you know when you finish your internship because that's actually one of the document you have to submit when you uh, do the final registration as well so it's more of like learning and practice of course you will go through it and you will be like a master once you finish your internship as well yeah so now we can talk about the uh, the how much salary can earn as a pharmacist i mean intern pharmacist and it is enough to live you know especially for like a uh, couple or you know if you can just give us you know some idea yeah according to um, you know the internship it's like a well fixed pay it's according to the fair uh, work australia uh, so if you can even uh, check on their website as well so it's been published as well so it can start from $27 on the first 6 months and that might be increased like you know an extra 1 or 2 dollars it can even go up to higher if you work in um, regional mm-hmm. pharmacies regional yeah. pharmacies as well yeah. so uh, if you're working you know if you're coming as a um, single like definitely that would be fine because the thing is uh, expenses will be there like you know the you might have the accommodation and other expenses will be there but you know if you're coming as a single that's more than enough because you might have to work sometimes you know evening shifts so that will be like penalty rates will be there if you work on saturdays and sundays of course a bigger penalty rates as well and also public holidays of course it's double pay so you have to have to work on all those days especially if you have been rostered and also have the double pay. pay sunday and what is the after hours pay 1.5x it's 1.5x on sundays and uh, if it is a public holiday it is double pay like if you are getting suppose for example if you are getting 30 your pay will be 60 in a public holiday yeah so of course you will be that would be you uh, you know you can earn like close to 3000 between 4000 like how many you know, hours yeah initially say advisable if you can come as a single for first at least for 6 month or something you know when you first you are settled down then you can call to your family you know this, this will be the advisable you know if you are coming yeah. out together you know with your family and you have a lot yeah. of burden, you know to earning and all those things yeah there are few pharmacies that offers the sponsorship and all so of course in that case you know they might provide you the relocation assistance and all those in that case definitely you can uh, try especially in other states like queensland and all they will provide all these um, they are ready to sponsor everything even in victoria also but in the regional area one of our student and they give him a 3 years uh, 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 free accommodation but he has to work yeah. low those 3 years in that pharmacy yeah. they are paying him 30 30 per hour salary also because if you are in the regional area i know so they will pay more because there is a, uh, many people are not ready to work in those areas right so uh, right. so i think when when i came australia in to do my phd so i was getting 27700 dollar per year scholarship mm. so me yeah. and five basically survive in sydney so i can say yeah. it's up to you you know uh, how much expenses you know is in your in your hands basically i can say but if you like a normal guy you know if you are living with your wife so at least definitely you can even if you are a single i can say yeah. 
even you can one one thousand to one point five thousand you can save because you yep. need, uh, can share the accommodation. Yes, yes, yes. So, so that's an option. Like shared accommodations are there. If you're coming as single, that would be really worth. Yeah. But if you're coming as a family, I would recommend like in the beginning few months, it's best to come with a single. Yes. And then later on, they can bring all the family and you will get the visas and all and you will get settled by the time. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So this is about the internship. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. We will try to have another conversation. And thank you, Tina. Mm -hmm.